So it's Dale here. I thought I'd start a little series and talk about the embellishing machine and what I've done with it. Um, I know that a lot of people bought them when they were popular and then I also know a lot of people have probably got them hidden away in a box somewhere and some people actually never ever open their box up. But what a needle felting machine is, it's just a series of barbed uh, needles just as if you were hand felting but uh, it doesn't have any um, thread or um, anything to worry about. Uh, and mine is a baby lock. Uh, most of the ones that came out earlier have now vanished from the scene, I think. And you can lower and raise the pressure with this one. If you see here, you can see I've got a little dial that lifts it up and down, which is really good if you've got thick things. Now, um, I use it a lot to mesh fabrics together, uh, and but just very quickly, I'm not going to do much with it today. Um, just from off and it is like it's dry felting now it's really it's the best way possible that you can ever imagine you might get two the uh, fab two fabrics together very very easily people use it with all sorts of things so if i put a little bit on here this is a little bit of hand dyed cotton scrim and i'll just make sure these are up pop that down and just going to do a little wee bit today but just so you can see what happens when, with this by putting a loose weave fabric on how you get this brilliant texture coming through to the other side and I'm not going to do any more but I'm just tempting you a little bit um, and I've got my collection of all sorts of oddments of fabrics but I'll show you some of the things that I've used it for now this is a piece where I've you put that cotton scrim on the back and I've worked it from the back to bring it up to the top. And first of all, I've woven my uh, pre-felt, my flimsy, um, Kimberly Dreaming, keeping in, in with my theme. And when I've woven it together, um, underneath I laid cotton scrim. You can see I've used all my bits and pieces. And then I've worked it through from the back so that you've got that interesting texture just coming up in places on the bottom. Not in your face or anything like that. And then I have stitched the whole lot down by hand. And in some places I've gone back under the machine to blend in my stitching, some I haven't. Then I've put uh, wool felt in little circles and things and hand stitched it to make this hanging, uh, which it's always, which I you know really like. I've kept it around for a lot and I've used lots of different threads to stitch with. So that's that one. And then I have another one here and this one here, I haven't put anything on the back or I didn't put the felt, the uh, scrim on the back, but I have simply woven it and hand stitched it. And in places, I just run it under the machine just to um, blend it in. So at the edges and places, and then I've done a lot of hand stitching, but I've used other things that I've put on like velvet and big stitches and just whatever I've got that uh, appeals to me. Velvet is wonderful to use. Uh, these fluffies and there's some more velvet that I've used to make a leaf and this you can only I've only ever been able to get this effect by using my embellishing machine and down the side I've used um, my favorite gimp of course and then a few others that I'll just show you for this time how effective it can be to um, weave up your um, you can see I've got scrim uh, where I worked it and uh, my pre-felt and when I weave it I intersperse them so I've got um, different effects on different sides and how when you use something like sari ribbon it breaks it up so the needles break up the texture. On the other side I've got another one where again I've um, woven the pre-felts that have been worked with various different fabrics and uh, I've added some um, a flower stitcher and so on and here to make a textured background and I've used little bits like here you'll find a little piece of um, uh, silk, silk scrim in places or I could use um, hessian which is another one so this is another one here sometimes they're just samples for mucking around and you can see here where I've put two pieces of pre-felt together uh, you can see the two sides there together. Run them together and you get that different, makes it thicker, but you also get that different texture coming through. And I think there might be, oh, I'm not sure yet. I'm just adding in different things to see how we go um, and what effect it might have. That's the back where I've got my hand stitching and things coming through. 
And this one here is a little bit different. Um, I've just used um, some uh, hessian in here. So you can see what happens when you put those two together. And finally, just to show you um, uh, and this one here, which is again, just a little book cover. And I've used two pieces together and just mesh them so you can see the texture from one comes through to the other and put them on. So I hope that's given you a few ideas to get started. Um, I've written a book and I run a, do a, have got a couple of online courses, uh, but it's the most fabulous machine for things that you can't do with anything else. So have a great day. See you again next time. Bye.